Hi, welcome to this video session. In this video, we are going to discuss about the degasification and the methods of degasification. Degasification is also called as degassing. It's a process of removal of dissolved gas from the liquid. And the main method of degasification are flushing and vacuum degassing. This following animation shows how what is degasification and how degasification classified. Welcome. In this this the following the following video explains the degasification process and the methods of degasification. Welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about degasification in casting process. We know mainly gases are accountable for many defects in the casting process. Elements like hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon and oxygen are responsible for these. These elements are dissolved in molten metal. If they are not removed from them, they are going to recombine to form their molecules in the solid phase of the metal. In doing so, the form defects like blow holes and pin holes. Therefore, it is necessary to remove the, these elements from the molten metal. The process of removal is called degassing. The method which we adopted is called as degasification. Most of the time, the degasification will take place in the ladle itself. Vacuum degassing is an effective way of removal of dissolved gases from the molten metal. The ladle is kept in a vacuum chamber. The vacuum pump is used to reduce the pressure in the chamber of the order of 1 torr to the 5 torr. When the molten metal exposes to the low pressure, the gas formation will become less and the gases will get separated from the liquid metal. In this way, the exposure of molten metal to the low pressure will help in removal of the dissolved gases. We use argon gases to pass it through the ladle. Normally, the argon gas is passed from the bottom of the ladle. When the organ gas passes from the molten metal, it carries away hydrogen with it. Normally, we wanted to have a small bubbles which will have a longer retention time in the ladle so that the maximum portion of the dissolved gas elements can be removed from the molten metal. The bubbles which are moving to the upward surface of the molten metal they are being removed by the vacuum which is present in the chamber. Normally, the hydrogen is removed by the diffusion process, whereas the oxygen reacts with the carbon which is present in the steel to form the mono carbon monoxide. As it is light in weight, it also moves upwards in the ladle and it is being removed by the vacuum. There are different variations are there of this vacuum degassing. In case of stream degassing, the molten metal is being poured in the form of a stream into the ladle. Because of that, the surface area becomes more, which leads to the rapid degasification. In case of recirculation degassing, the molten metal is taken into the vacuum chamber and the organ gas is passed through this the recirculation of the molten metal creates more agitation in the molten metal which helps in removal of the dissolved gases in the molten metal. In this way, the vacuum degassing is an effective way of removal of dissolved gases in the molten metal 
in order to get the defect free castings flushing flushing is one of the method of degasification process it is also known as sparging flushing is a technique in which a gas is bubbled through a liquid in order to remove other gases and dissolved volatile liquids the this process of removal of gas is known as flushing this following video shows the process of vacuum degassing in the 1950s our predecessor bethlehem steel pioneered vacuum stream degassing as an important safety and quality measure to remove hydrogen from heavy steel forgings. Forgings can sometimes weigh over 150 tons, and this process is important because even a few atoms of hydrogen present in a highly forged steel component can lead to catastrophic failure. Today, at Lehigh Heavy Forge, our vacuum stream degassing process is the most critical step in creating safe, high-quality forgings that will not experience catastrophic failure in service. The initial degassing to remove hydrogen and small impurities from the ladle refined molten steel is done by pumping argon gas into the furnace ladle inside a vacuum chamber, a step we added to further improve upon Bethlehem Steel's safety process. Pressure is reduced to less than one tor in the furnace ladle degassing station. In a large sealed vacuum tank, the ingot mold has been prepared inside of the tank beforehand. The pressure inside the tank is taken down to 5 tor. This removes moisture from the ingot mold walls, an important step, because any moisture would instantly become hydrogen and oxygen as the molten steel enter the mold, counteracting the degassing efforts. After the drying, the pressure in the vacuum tank is reduced below 1 tor. The furnace ladle then begins filling up the pony ladle with molten steel. Once the pony ladle is filled, its stopper valve is opened, allowing the flow of molten steel into the vacuum tank. As the molten steel enters the vacuum tank, the flowing liquid metal is pulled apart with tremendous force by the low vacuum pressure. This releases any trapped hydrogen from the steel, which is quickly removed and drawn out via the exhaust port. Keeping the pony ladle filled with the molten steel flowing from the furnace ladle maintains the vacuum pressure in the degassing tank below one tor. Once the ingot mold is filled to the desired level, the molten steel flow is cut off to the tank. The ingot is allowed to cool and solidify, locking in its chemistry and locking out the hazardous hydrogen. A safe, high-quality ingot is now ready to be forged into a useful component at LHF. Uh, thank you for watching this video.